Hey everybody, Crow back again. As you can see, I have a game. I got this in the mail. Actually, I got it a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't opened it yet. I've been looking for an opportunity to do make a video on this. And trust me, I know that there have been plenty of other people that have already made a video on this, even well before then. And there's a little story to that, which I'll tell. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell that story. And I'm going to unbox this. And then I'm going to play this on the Atari 2600+. Plus. And then after that, I'm going to try this on an original Atari 2600 or VCS uh, attached to a CRT TV. So if you're just interested in those parts, go ahead and just use the uh, chapter markers to skip ahead to the part you want to see. But part of the reason why it's taken me so long to get to a video about this is because this isn't the game I originally ordered. Back on August 1st, 2023, I ordered off of the Atari.com site. Uh, Mr. Run and Jump, the limited edition version of it. I don't believe this version was actually on there. And I think if it was, I might have actually just ordered this to begin with. And I paid $59.99 for it because that's what most of the cartridges were going for at that time when I had ordered it from there. Everything was like even more expensive than that in, in some cases. And then I can't remember how long ago it was, like a month or two ago. I think it was even like sometime late last year. People were already like making videos on this and I wasn't watching them. So I'll get mine soon enough. I'll get mine soon enough. And when it wasn't coming, I was like, what's going on? And I searched on Atari's website through the store and it said my order is still unfulfilled. I was like, well, how are people getting theirs when my order is still sitting here unfulfilled? It turns out that there's two versions of this and I, the limited edition was the one I bought. And they put out another version, which I guess is the regular version of it. And it's like half the price, $29.99. And of course, you can see it comes with a box, it comes with a cartridge, and it doesn't come with a manual. Well, the limited edition version doesn't come with much more. In fact, it's got different graphics and it comes with a manual, but that's the only difference. So I don't understand the $30 in price difference between this version and the other version. And the limited edition version said that it wasn't going to be available for like two or three more months. And I'm like, I don't want to wait that long. Let me just order this. This is only 30. Well, I can't see where people say only 30 for an Atari 2600 game. Still a lot for an Atari 2600 game, but you know, cart it's actual physical media. It's got the box. It's got its cartridge. So it's a physical thing. So I could kind of see a $30 price tag on, on this being brand new and everything. Um, and it was, you just buy it and you'll get it in a couple of days. And that's what I did earlier this year. I bought this on January 11th. I got it uh, three, five days later. I don't remember. Again, I've had this for a couple of weeks and I just haven't, had time to do anything with it i still don't understand though how there's a limited edition version of this that is the same exact thing just with different graphics and includes a manual and it's 30 dollars more i don't i don't know where that's coming from but let's uh let's just unbox this so i'm gonna take my knife i'm just gonna kind of cut where the uh the slit is here there we go and then i can because what i'll wind up doing is after i See, if I do get the limited edition version, I'm probably not going to want to take it out of the wrapper. But uh, I do have plenty of these case protectors for Atari 2600 games. Uh, even the box that's all beat up looks a thousand times better if you put it in a case protector. Um, yeah, so here's the back of it. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention is um, Mr. Run and Jump is on Steam, but it's not this game. Uh, the Mr. Run and Jump on Steam starts out like it's an Atari 2600 game. But shortly, you know, a couple screens into it, you get to this weird tear in time and space, and it transforms into a totally different game. And it is a great game. It kind of reminds me of uh, Meat Boy a little bit. Uh, somebody said Celeste. I've not played Celeste, but that's something that's kind of on my radar to play. Uh, oh no, Leap the Dog has become wandering around the Dark Realm, and if he ventures too far, he'll never be able to find his way back. It's up to Mr. Run and Jump to race through six colorful worlds, bound over obstacles, dodge deadly enemies, and save his best friend before it's too late. So, let's, uh, let's take our knife. Let's pop this open so we're not going to bend it too badly, if at all. <laughs> oh, this is what I was wondering, and I'm so glad they did this. In my Bizarre Enhanced Edition unboxing, I was really happy that... Um, <laughs> The cartridge has its own little sleeve, and they I was wondering if they did that here too. I love that they did this. Uh, the only problem is that with this cartridge sleeve on it, it doesn't fit into my uh, 
my cartridge holders because <laughs> it makes it just a little bit too big. But you know what? I am glad to just put leave these in here and put them off to the side. Uh, maybe I'll design uh, some other cartridge holders slightly better, bigger so I could put these kind of games in there. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's it, Mr. Run and Jump. We got a cartridge look brand new. Um, you know, it's so funny. They mentioned, oh, it comes with, you see nothing else in there, no manual or anything. But again, that was to be expected because I guess the limited edition, you're paying $30 for a manual. Um, but I wonder why they don't mention a cartridge sleeve because I think that's actually pretty damn cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to throw it into the Atari 2600 Plus. And I don't believe I've shown this before, but uh, about a month or so ago, we did get a 3D printer. I've been 3D printing stuff like crazy. And one of the things I did was this joystick, uh, just the shell that was 3D printed on the printer. Uh, of course, the arcade stick, the, the equipment in the interior and the handle and the button and everything, obviously not 3D printed. Although I could have done that, but I have so much of this stuff left over. So I did make this arcade style Atari 2600 controller. So I'm going to try to play it using this. Yeah, it's uh, my own DB9 plug and everything, but uh, it'll work just fine. I've already tested it. So let's uh, get over to that. All right, here we are with Mr. Run and Jump. I'm actually capturing this, and this is not the first time I played it because I did. Uh, I played through. I played a bunch of this already. And uh, when I actually went and I recorded more footage and I went to go, you know, get all the files and everything and I only to realize I didn't actually capture anything. So I've already played this a bit. So this isn't my first uh, time playing it. Um, I was going to use this controller and I, I am going to use this one on the original 2600 over there. But for some reason it's not really working properly on the Atari 2600 Plus. And I'm guessing it's because the plug isn't really that secure on the back there. It's really loose. It could just fall right out. And it's causing all sorts of weird things to happen while I'm playing. And so instead, I'm actually going to use the controller that came with the Atari 2600 Plus, And we'll try it like that. So uh, we got our title screen there. We're going to hit the button to start. There's our dog. He's going to run off. And we're going to run and jump after him. There we go. Um, oh. It's like the timing on some of the stuff is... Again, I might have a little bit of delay just because of um, running it through a capture device and also having it on this portable monitor that I'm playing on. There we go. Oh, look at that. Made it. And now we got ladders. So the beginning of this game is almost exactly like the version on Steam, except when we get to this point, it's giving us a ladder because in the Steam version, you can double jump and you cannot double jump here. In fact, all you could do here is run and jump and that's it. Like the title of the game suggests. But in the Steam version, you can do a whole lot more. You could roll, you could dash, you could dash jump, you could air dash. It, there's a whole lot of stuff you could do. Here, it's simplified, so they provided ladders in the parts that you wouldn't be able to get by. So when you get to, like, this part, I think, in the Steam version, that's when you get teleported to another world. Here, you take that ladder, and I'm on level 2 now. Kind of wish there was something a little bit more of a transition here, but... Now, so we're level two here. I'm gonna run it there. See, I had a bunch of trouble. Like, like you're not gonna see me having the trouble that I had originally when I was playing this because I kind of got used to these levels because I've already been playing this for like an hour or so. But yeah, that jump in particular, you can't, you have to jump when you're like already off the ledge. Otherwise, you're not gonna make it. Uh, this this took, gave me a lot of trouble. But here, we could just fall down, and that's the easiest way to do that. We'll just jump over here, wait for the ghost to bite by, and run on by later. This is just, yeah, well, oh, shoot, okay. There we go, and we'll wait for it to go by again, there we go. This, we can't do that, there we go. And this, if I wait over here, it might be better, then we can outrun this ghost here. And this, okay, we can wait here, just run over here, up again, here we go, all right. And this should be just float on down. He doesn't fall as fast as you would expect. This is not as hard as it looks. In fact, I've never gotten hit by this thing. Just time it right. There we go. Get up to the top. And there we go. We're free. And that is level two. Level three. I actually haven't passed it here, but I passed it on 
you'll see me pass it on the uh, the, the Atari 2600, the original one. But we got thwomps here now. So we can jump. There we go. Yeah, you should have seen how much trial and error it took me to get by these the first time. <laughs> I was... Oh, sh there we go. There's our first death. Okay. <laughs> And then every time you die, you get sent back to the beginning of the world. In the uh, Steam version, you get sent back to the beginning of the same screen you were on. But I think that version is a little bit more complicated. I'm not going to make it that time again. <laughs> I'm hesitating too much. All right, come on. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, now this screen gave me a lot of trouble, and it might still give me a lot of trouble here. Um, not so much this one, but the second one. <laughs> All right. I made it! Okay, first try. How about that? <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right, and uh, now we have to wait for them to go up, and we sneak out by, and up we beat them down to the ground. Okay, now we got Diglets. Okay. Not too hard to get by these, but there's uh, the next screen after this one. Kind of a bit troubly. There we go. Because we have a ghost going back and forth now, I'm just going to wait a little bit extra here. Because that seemed to work for me. Oh, I didn't mean to jump forward that far. Then you have, we have to do, redo the whole level again. All right, here we are. Oh, shoot. My, <laughs> oof, I almost went way too fast. Okay. Okay, we made it by that time. Okay. And this one is tricky because of that. Oh! Here we go again. Let's not screw it up. Oh! Here we go again. All right. Okay, then there's this. Got it. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, sh damn it. Okay, here we go again with this. Damn. Oh. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, I made it. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is the next level. I'm going to stop right now because it took me so long to get through level three again. Ridiculous amount of time. It's driving me crazy. And um, I didn't make it much more further uh, on the original. Uh, it's already twisted country, but I think this is a good place for me to stop right now. And we'll go over to the original Atari 2600 on the CRT right now. All right. Uh, here we are with the camera pointed at the CRT television. It looks perfectly fine from what I could tell. And I tested out my joystick again. And it seems to work just perfectly fine. I'm going to try this. You're going to hear some clicking when I play this. But, uh, yeah, let's let's try it out here. This is really to get a good visual look at what it looks like on a CRT. Uh, so there we go. There's a dog. He's uh, scampering off. So let's go. Oh, there we go. All right. Should be able to run through this first one really quick. There we go. Spikes. Well, I can tell you, the uh, I'm using a Sanwa button here, and that feels so good with this. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh. There we go. Kind of wish the arcade joystick part that I had wasn't so loose. I could try and get a part to make it a little bit stiffer, but I simply don't have that. We'll have to make do with this. Okay, come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. There we go. And we missed. Okay. Maybe I didn't hold the button down long enough. Let's try again. Uh, no. Wow, you really need your per pixel perfect right there. Not that there's pixels or anything here, but... There, oh, come. That looked like I should have made it. Yeah, I'm not... I'm, I need to be like halfway off the ledge before I jump. Oh, wow, it felt like I was halfway. I need to be like over halfway off the ledge before I jump. Why am I not making that? It seems like I should be making it. Am I missing something? If I hold up and jump, it doesn't seem like he jumps any higher. 
Yeah, there's no special jumping maneuvering. Wow. Why am I not making that jump? That's gonna be a problem in later levels. There we go. Okay, jeez, that was, yeah, they're, you know what's funny is on the phone that I'm recording this on, they look pretty stationary, but they're flickering pretty hardcore on the television there. All right. All right, and time that so we can jump over both at once. Oh, jeez. All right. That's level one. Okay, level two already. Okay. Don't need to stop for that. And up we go. And across and the pits. Oh boy. Oh wow. There we go. You need to like jump way after you think you need to jump. Oh. There we go. Oh, at least that's not death. Look at this one. You need to jump back and forth. There we go. All right. All right, we are out of here. All right, and that's level two. And level three is where I made it. Let's see just how far we can make it into level three. Let's see if I can make it at least as far as I did in the... Uh, Atari 2600 Plus. Yeah, the flickering is actually pretty bad here as well as, but you might not be able to tell on the recording. Yeah, okay. All right. And, nope. There we go. Again, not. Okay. I thought I had it that time. Oh, I knew that was... Oh, I made it! Oh, no! Oh, there we go again. There we go. Oh! All right, let's go. There we go. Diglets. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, that I can make it. Okay. Let's do a little timing difference here. Got it! Got it! All right. Oh, look at this. Got it. Okay. What kind of messed up person came up with this? 
All right, there we go. Hey, I passed level three, level four. It's halfway through the game. Oops, well, I would have made it. <laughs> There we go. Uh-oh, oh, I'm dead. Uh-oh. 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 Oh. Made it. Okay. And then there's a spike right there. There we go. All right. Oh, sh I didn't. okay. You know what? I think that's the perfect time to stop. I really thought it was safe. I I don't know why. I just thought they'd hit the, the ground up above me. I thought it was in a tunnel, but okay, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's Mr. Run and Jump. For 2600 I'm really glad I bought this game. Uh, actually, it might be one of my favorites now. Maybe in the top 10, maybe top 20, I don't know. Uh, I'd have to think about it. There are really, lot, there's a lot of really good uh, 2600 games out there. But this is uh, definitely a good one. I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming the game is over when the timer hits zero, or maybe it'll just let you keep going, and if you finish the game, you just get a score of zero <laughs> if you finish the game. Um, but I've made it halfway through, and that's after playing for about an hour. And um, again, this will be edited way down. You won't see me all, all the times I died and everything. But uh, anyway, it's a, it's a really good game. Uh, leave it at that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.